Hello everyone. Welcome to the children's homily for the sixth Sunday after Easter. So Easter was a few weeks ago. And do you remember something you got at Easter time? A lot of people have this tradition. We get an Easter basket at Easter. And a lot of the tradition with an Easter basket is that it's filled with lots of goodies. A lot of the times, a lot of candy you get chocolate bunnies, chocolate eggs, jelly beans, marshmallow peeps. And I know as exciting as in, and, and, and as you are, and as tempted as you are to eat all that candy, your parents probably tell you that you can't eat all that candy, right? And why do they tell you that? Is it so you don't have fun and enjoy yourself? Actually, it's for the opposite reason. It is so you will enjoy yourself, that you will have fun and have a good time while also staying safe and staying healthy. Eating a lot of candy at one time can give you a bellyache, right? And make you sick. It can make you so sick that, you know, you don't want to get out of bed and do anything else for the rest of your day. So your parents tell you that rule of not eating so much candy all at one time so you can stay safe and healthy and keep having fun it's 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 not to hurt you it's actually to help you and they do that because they love you and God also does this God also gives us rules and we call those commandments and those rules, those commandments, are there to help us, there to make us safe, make us enjoy even more what has been given to us. And so in our reading this Sunday, we're in the book of John, chapter 15, verses 9 through 17. It says this, Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. So what does that mean? It's saying a whole lot. So one, it's saying that Jesus loves us and so does God. And that there are these commandments that God has given us and that we show love for one another and we show love for God when we follow those commandments. And that's what that abide in love means. You know, to be in love, to sit in love. And so keeping commandments, keeping rules shows love for yourself, shows love for others, and it also shows love for God that we respect God enough to follow these rules. It's just like when your parents asked you to not eat all the candy, you're showing respect and love to them by doing so. And so another example I give you is that right now we're in <clears throat> the pandemic of COVID-19 and a lot of governments ask their people that live there to do what? To wear masks. And so we wear our mask. And it's not just a matter of following rule, but you can see how it shows care. When I put this mask on, it blocks germs from coming in. So it allows me to protect myself from germs and the virus. And so I'm showing love for myself. But also by putting on this mask, it stops germs from coming out of my mouth and infecting other people. So I'm showing care, love for other people. And so by following, so let's go back one last time to our reading. It says, Jesus said to the disciples, as the father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. So to abide, to live in God's love, to live 
in your parents' love, to live in, in the love of your friends and family. You will follow these rules in order to do that. You will abide in love, live in love. So I want to leave you with this. As you think about following rules, instead of thinking of them as ways that keep you from something, think of them as ways that bring you to something, that bring you joy, that bring you safety, but also that bring you love and that also is a way to show love. So abide in love by following the rules